Okay, back to business. Another week, another run of fucking exotic potato chips that simply must be reviewed for the sake of all humanity. I'm doing my favorite skincare today, this morning as I shoot this, the Aztec clay. And I really need to get this done before the clay sets up and I turn into one of the stone men and I can't move my fucking mouth anymore. But this shit is great. It sucks all the blood to the surface and it picks up your sagging, aging, and decrepit, rotting flesh, and it sucks all the bullshit out of your pores and takes off the layer of dead skin. It's, it's, it's a miracle. I love it. And the shit is so cheap. You get a big bottle, a big jug of it at fucking Whole Foods. You mix it with apple cider vinegar, and boom, his face starts to pulsate, and you turn into some kind of fucking lizard man. It's great. But we have a window of opportunity before that all happens where I can actually still talk and eat so we're gonna get that done now all right this is weird this everything is lining up and connecting together in a nice orderly fashion which i enjoy we are segueing out of like the chinese chips into the japanese chips and we have what seems to be an egg bridge we have not one but three bags of fucking egg flavored potato chips that are gonna act as a sort of connector between the Chinese stuff and the Japanese stuff, and then I have a whole bunch of Japanese shit, which looks pretty fucking interesting. So we got to get through this. Now I'm going to tell you right now, egg as a potato chip flavor is fucking dumb. I've had a few of them, and sure, they do taste like eggs, which is basically just like sucking on sulfur, but is that a flavor unto itself? I say no. Oh, I, I eat fuck with eggs. I eat eggs all the time in all different ways. I had a bunch of fucking delightful deviled eggs over Memorial Day weekend. It's great, but egg is always like a a thing to be seasoned. I, I don't know if I, how rarely I eat eggs without at least putting some fucking hot sauce, some Tabasco, some Cholula, whatever on, on it. Like just egg as a taste unto itself. It's doable, but I don't think it's something to make into a potato chip flavor. Yet here we are and we have to suffer through three of them. So I'm just gonna do my duty. Now this is a bridge from the last bag, we had that those weird fish skin chips from the Golden Duck Company, and this is a company out of Singapore that proclaims to make very high-end and well-crafted fucking snacks, and they even have these nice bags, and this is it, salted egg yolk flavor, comes in this nice bag, this shit was eight bucks, bought this in Chinatown, and this is the only, this is the one of two bags I have from this company, and the only one that's actually fucking potato chips, so we're gonna see what they can do with fucking egg. And, <clears throat> and I'm just gonna make the most of it. Oh, I can feel this shit starting to bind up. Okay, now, inside the bag is interesting. You can see there's like, I don't know if you can see, there's like a leaf. What the fuck is that? Potato chips, oil, vegetable oil, curry, salted egg power, leaf. Okay, it's good, so there's other shit in here. It doesn't say what that leaf is, what is it? Yeah, there's a leaf. Okay, and it's a nice yellow uh, ridge chip with a bunch of stuff all over it. Maybe it does it actually have an egg on it? Crustacean, whatever. Okay, pay attention, shithead. I mean, yeah, that tastes like egg yolk. I'm gonna go ahead and say that these guys just got dried egg yolks and Round them up and put them on the chip. And curry leaves, is that what it is? It's just some oddball shit. I'll tell you that much. The potato chip, oh, spicy. What the fuck is going on? Ah! Damn, I wasn't prepared for that. Unfortunately, my palate cleansing radishes dried up over the weekend, so I didn't do that. But. I'm coming through hot. A lot going on here. Like the other bag, kind of almost feels like a meal into itself. I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, if you were gonna make egg flavored chips, this is one way to do it. I mean, I appreciate the the extraness of this. I mean, they really didn't have to do all that. It does stand out. I mean, it feels like food 
for a fucking change, you know? Not like the illusion of food, which is what most of this bullshit is. It really feels like it has substance to it. Um, I'm happy, or at least join the fact that it's just not the unrelenting and unfiltered taste of just fucking egg and this other shit going on. All right, that's a pretty good start to the week, I'm afraid. Be curious to see what else this company makes. If I ever see them out in the wild, I will uh, get them. A little spice, very nice. Shake it up with curry leaves. Dusted with rich golden goodness. Got these egg yolks here. I gotta say, Chinese people do love their egg yolks. You get them a lot in the moon cake. You're psyched if you get a moon cake that has a dried egg yolk inside of it. Really good. You got the salt, you get the, the sticky rice over here. You know, it's like a glob of rice wrapped in a, in a tea leaf. Little bits of peanut or mashed peas or pork, Chinese sausage, and then one egg yolk just in there somewhere, eating it. And then finally you encounter the egg yolk. It's dry, flaky, and you know, feels like you want a fucking prize. I'm getting sick of this. Yeah, I don't want this anymore.